Can a state governor make executive order to execute a matter listed on the exclusive legislative list? How constitutional is River State Executive Order Number 21? When Governor Yes on Wiki, the Aside Sweet us, he go they pain them Krona, threaten that his former political associate, following his party presidential candidate Elijah Tiko Abuaka, will not be able to campaign in River State. Nobody took him seriously. The reality is here now. As the governor has signed Executive Order Number 21 of River State, prohibiting public gathering, and particularly political gathering from holding campaigns and rally using any public facilities without obtaining approval from the State Commissioner for Education and upon payment of non-refundable security fee of 5 million naira. This is laughable. To enforce such order, the Commissioner for Education or any local government chairman in the state, these people are card-carrying members of a political party, are empowered to stop any political rally, which is a contravention of the executive order. I have see power. Now, wow. So you need to pay 5 million naira to and take permission from your political opponent to campaign. How do I want to take past possible? Now, what for Nigerian brother of democracy, Sha? The question then is, can a governor regulate the electoral campaign process in a state by spelling out how political parties and their candidates must carry out their campaign in the state? Your answer is a look at Section 52B of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. A state governor cannot validly issue an executive order on matters way outside the legislative purview of the State House of Assembly. So we should know this. Even Section 952 of the Electoral Act 2022 prohibits any state from employing state apparatus, including the media, to the advantage or disadvantage of any political party or candidate at any election. So he should create a level playing field. I still remember also that Section 40 of our Constitution guarantees the right to peaceful assembly and association to every person in Nigeria. And he's a lawyer, he should know, except in the interest of public safety, order, morality, public health, or for the purpose of protecting the rights and freedom of other person. So the governor can say he's protecting the rights and freedom of other person because by virtue of Section 91.1 of the Electoral Act, it has taken care of that protection by entrusting the Commissioner of Police in each state with the responsibility of providing adequate security for proper, proper and peaceful conduct of political campaigns and rally in their respective state. Abi Wiki in Alokba. As laudable as President Buhari's Executive Order No. 10 was, it was recently expunged by the Supreme Court when it heard that the president overstepped his limit, the limit of his constitutional powers, by issuing the said executive order to grant autonomy to the judiciary because that had been covered by the extant law. So I wonder why nobody in River State has challenged this, Abi. Even if the state judiciary is compromised. The Supreme Court also, the matter will get there. Abi, Governor Wiki, the fear fair contest. Despite donating almost 3 billion naira between January 2021 and October 2022 to various people and states, and all the many bridges in the bid for Port Harcourt, I sometimes wonder if this money donated discriminately anyway are from his personal pocket or are state funds and budgeted for by the State House of Assembly. Anyway, which I know, self, I never even see the content of the breakdown of the budget, not to talk of even knowing. Or maybe these things we be in the open once he leaves office. Remember, we have even seen where Hitato political godson use such fights for their freedom when they become governor. Time certainly shall tell. But I expected Wiki to use this election as an opportunity to truly test his popularity with Rivers people, whom he claims loves him to high heaven, even though he's not on the ballot. We know that, like Oshomole, he will be at the forefront of the campaign for his political son, Sim Fubara, who is flying the flag of the PDP as his anointed. At least, apart from 2015, this is actually the first time he's standing for election, if you know what I mean. I will therefore advocate that people should look in the direction of who becomes senators, House of Representatives, House of State House of Assembly members, and state governors much more than who become the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. For if you have credible people manning the federating unit, the states will be viable, local governance will be enhanced, and the president will be put on his toes, 
But if we remove our gaze from the state and consistently get visited on who becomes the president, we will end up with emperors as state governors who still state, state treasury as an extension of their personal estate. The ball is in your court. Well, time always is not our friend here. So that's the much time can permit us to take today on this program. So for more, just simply follow us on all our social media platform showing on your screen, either agree or disagree with us. But remember, emperor will rise and fall, but the empires will remain. See you.